The past must die. Kill it if you have to. Or never changes. In this case, it does, actually. They, they retcon quite a bit, surprisingly, in this show. Um, I... Well, honestly, Kyle, I think it's quicker if we start with, uh, what didn't they dramatically retcon, actually? Uh... Not the ghouls. Uh, ghouls don't work like ghouls do. Yep, um, they... Ghouls are changed, absolutely. Uh, Vault Tech started the war, so uh, yep. yeah, that's that's. Yeah, that's can't talk about that. Vault Tech's changed. Um, the federal government and Enclave wasn't the one. There is no Legacy Ship Project. That wasn't Vault Tech's ambition. Uh, that changed. Uh, so we can't talk about that. Um, yeah, so the vaults have changed completely. The NCR is a raider band now, so that can't talk about that. Um, yep. New Vegas is a derelict husk. Okay, so can't talk about mm -hmm. that. And the, the the Brotherhood of Steel are just a ragtag bunch of ruffian bullies now. Ruffian bullies who are white misogynists. Don't forget. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, the the entire the entire reason for the bombs falling have changed because now it's all one big societal experiment by Voltec. Because Voltec is like, hey, how how do we create a world without war? I know. Nuke the world. Yes, it is as bad as it sounds. It's the exact same thing as the Resident Evil movie plotline, where Umbrella wipes out the planet so that the corporation can take over the planet. It yeah, is no, unironically, that, that, that is the stated objective. Voltec's stated objective is, hey, how do we get a monopoly on the on the capitalist market here? I know, kill everybody but ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> if we're the only people left, we'll only sell our products to ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> they literally have a tirade about how they're going to breed super managers. <laughs> yes, no. The, the story here makes absolutely... Uh, I want to point out too. Okay, so one of the bad women uh, is bad woman who's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna nuke America. Uh, I'm gonna nuke America to protect my daughter." Excuse me. Yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> make sure she lives and dies in a vault of old age. And I want to point out in the first episode, where is her daughter and her husband? The, the two people that she wants to protect above everything else that she will sacrifice everything for. Um, about you know a kilometer away from Ground Zero. Yes. What? They are literally hazed in radiation. There's no way that their daughter made it to the vault in time. She's cooked. Like, by the time she makes it into the vault, she's just going to liquefy. No amount of Rad X or Rad Away is going to save you from the three atomic bombs. Yeah, <laughs> like, the, the, the entire story makes no sense. Like, the worst part also, it, it, wow. I'm going to spoil the ending right away. Screw How it, does it yeah. end? With nothing happening. Nothing. Nada. Nip. Nil. Nil. Salt. Zero. Absolutely goddamn nothing. The NCR? They're already destroyed. Destroying them further doesn't really matter at this point. The Brotherhood of Steel? Uh, who cares? The, they take casualties? What, what do I care? They're not the Brotherhood of Steel anymore. Cold Fusion lights up a city. I don't even know what city it is because Shady Sand has been nuked! None of this matters. The only thing that happens is, hey, I've left the vault and now I'm going on a quest and adventure for eight hours nothing happens yep because the entire plot is that this little girl lucy is looking for her dad and we get to the end of the show she catches up to her dad only for her dad to leave again literally the worst fucking story ever bethesda did it again everyone they've made a terrible fallout story <laughs> and this is so much worse than merely just a terrible fallout story because this destroys fallout Yep, this it... actually ruins Fallout. Okay, so the NCR <laughs> doesn't exist in any mentionable, noteworthy worthy form anymore. They're not rebuilding civilization. They were nuked by Vault Tech, apparently, again. Uh, they've been sent back to the Stone Age. They've become nothing more than base raiders at this point. And whatever little remains of them is wiped off the face of the Earth by the Brotherhood of Steel at the end. The Brotherhood of Steel themselves have devolved enormously into just a band of thugs, where the knights themselves are cowardly tards. <sighs> yeah. Their entire organization has collapsed. 
th the vaults are collapsing. The, the few vaults that remain are either overrun by crazy people or stable mutants, apparently. Or completely isolated, or the... You remember the water, water chip, Kyle? You remember the water chip that broke in the vault that we were from? That was never mentioned again, so that vault is dead. Yep. The water chip broke in a vault, and that was just as a throwaway reference to Fallout 1. Yep, so that, that vault is dead. Um... The, the, the entire world of Fallout has has nothing anymore. There doesn't seem to be any, like, large tribes or gangs or um, any sort of organizational structure whatsoever. Like, the world has ended again. again. We, we have reset Fallout. Like, And the only way I can possibly see this making sense is if Bethesda themselves are like, no, no, no. We don't want to merely own the Fallout IP. We want to crush it so that we can rule over the broken ashes of fallout yep i mean effectively what the fallout tv sh tv show does is it specifically targets fallout 1 2 and new vegas and the story of rebuilding civilization from the ashes of the old world and it goes after that story in particular with one sole purpose to assassinate it and the show does yes. a splendid job. It destroys Fallout 1 and 2 and New Vegas in relatively eight episodes and does so very effectively. There is anything that you did in Fallout 1 or 2 or New Vegas, anything that does with the West Coast lore, the West Coast lore, none of that, none of you, none of those games mattered. In the end, it all was for nothing. Your decisions, your interactions with those characters and those those tribes and those nation states, the Arroyo tribe, the NCR, the Brotherhood of Steel, the, you know, Mr. House, none uh, of it mattered. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's worse than that. Not only is New Vegas destroyed, or at the very least it looks bloody destroyed at the, uh, the end there. It's got breaches in the wall, yeah. Mr. House was in on the plan to nuke America and to run the worst social experiments in the vault. Yes, which makes no sense why Mr. House is in fact involved in that. Because Mr. House is very much at this point building an anti-nuclear, was it laser defense system, I believe? And that's the reason why the West Coast is as preserved as it is, because Mr. House's defense system stopped most of the Chinese nukes. Because in the actual lore of Fallout, it was the Chinese who fired the first nukes, because once the Americans pushed them out of Anchorage in Alaska, and the Chinese were losing in mainland Alaska, or China, sorry, because the invention of the T-45B power armor. Like, there's just simply, that was the reason. They, they had to fire the nukes because it was the nuclear option. But now it's vault tech and it's capitalism that's evil, not communism. Funny enough. Oh, huh? yeah. There's also a scene where there's a woman that says, I'm not a communist. That's just a dirty word they use to call people who aren't insane. Yep. That quote, very perfectly. <laughs> See, they actually say that. And they, they go after that because the whole thing is they try to make fun of the Red Scare, which the Red Scare was true. It was real. It was vindicated. The Red Scare didn't go far enough. It didn't. Um, that's the issue. As this show clearly demonstrates with pro-communist ideals, like, the, it, it unironically attacks capitalism. It attacks, you know, literally uh, white fathers who go after their daughters to try to save their daughters from being abducted. Oh, God. Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> there, there's another part here. So, Lucy thinks she was born oh. in the vault. And and she was, kind of, like because the bad guy is her father. Um, Lucy is then abducted, straight up, by her mother from the vault with her lesbian lover. I shit you fucking yep. not. And then her dad goes like, well, you can't just, you can't just steal my child. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm going to go after you. <laughs> And he does, and he takes his child back, and in the process, he nukes Shady Sands. How? It's not It's not told. He's, he's a vault -Tec employee, and that apparently means he has access to nuclear weapons. Just... Yes. Oh, because. Uh, a great point, because you lead in with the vault -Tec literally having power over everything. Um, literally, they do. They retconned it, and people are trying to say that they have, but they have. 
vault was not controlled by the shadow government of the Enclave or any of that nature to set up, you know, these vaults to ex for social experiments to prepare a generation ship, which is what the literally the developers said was the plan for the story originally. That is no longer canon. They, they, the vault Tech Corporation is so massive that it puppet the government. And the government is just a thrall, and there the vault tech is really in command here. And the worst part is when you actually meet the head honcho vault tech evil mastermind. He's a little brain in a jar who's been stuck in a corner, and they make a joke of it uh, for like five minutes or six minutes, and then they try to make you like go like, oh, he's evil now. See, he's being evil. Take him seriously after he's been a laughing stock for six minutes solid, chasing oh, a dude a with a syringe. Too. Just to, just to hammer the point home as well, the shop, the shop, the show goes from like, hey, I'm really serious here, guys. We're, we're nuking America, guys, to, oh, look, I'm a Roomba with a syringe. Ha ha ha. They've, they've not managed to create a story with any sort of consistency. They've not managed to create a world with any sort of consistency. And they've not managed to create any sort of consistent pacing oh. either. Okay. And again, like, the simple fact is, nothing, nothing happens. You get one episode, the first episode, in which this stuff is happening, okay? The raiders hit the vault. They, they abduct the father, and you don't know why all of this is happening. And Lucy goes to find her father. All right, cool. That's the plot line. Nice and simple. Lucy goes to find dad. Simple. Simple, simple. Abandon. They completely abandon this for another, like, six episodes. And just waffle about pointlessly like six hours of oh, wasted God. time it's it's worse than that because right right after they abandon that plot line they're introduced to an enclave scientist who then dies and then they have to cut off their head and now the brother of steel is after it and then the ncr faction is after this head and so there's all, all these factions after this head and so they focus on the head but then the head stops mattering because they get separated from the head and the guy who get turns into a ghoul later because they retconned how ghouls work in this oh yes oh, yeah. Oh, limbs. Oh, God. So Lucy gets her finger cut off, right? And you're like, oh, no, that's a big deal. Uh, they, they take a dead person's finger that's rotted, and they sew it back on, and it starts working again. No, they don't even sew it. <laughs> they, they use a laser just to oh, attach it. Oh, a laser, it. yeah, welds it back on, basically. And the finger starts to work. Like, it's just, no. It just, no. Like, there's this uh, little smarmy, what do you call him? Ad not adjutant, but like little dude, right? The little ginger dude. And he gets his foot stomped on by some power armor. He drinks a, uh, some potion and it makes his like limbs regrow perfectly. Yes. His, his crippled limb just regrows instantly. So he, he, he must literally have been given a dose of the FEV virus by some random snakes oil salesman. And, and that may give some regeneration powers now. The oh, by the way, too, ghouls, ghouls are just zo zombies here. They're just zombies. They can eat bullets, tons of bullets, get shot, doesn't really matter. Uh, they need a special serum to stay sane. They can apparently regenerate willy-nilly. Oh, yes. yep. oh, this, is, this is not Fallout. Oh, no, none of this that. has anything to do with Fallout. It really doesn't. And to make matters worth, you know that power armor you see in the beginning, like, this might look cool. Uh, the power armor, it flies now. Believe it or not, they fly now. They fly now. <laughs> they actually fly now. I can kid you not. They have jetpacks and stuff now on their hands and wrists, like Iron Man suits. And they zoom around. Also, the armor, trash. Literally, uh, the cool, the cowboy ghoul is like, I served in the army and we use the T-45B. This T-60 stuff, it ain't nothing like it, but it's probably got the same weaknesses. And so he's like, bang, 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 in the middle of, like, the dark. And he, he kills, like, seven paladin knights like they're nothing. And, like, power ah. armor's pointless. Oh, God, that action scene was pain. And the worst part is, what is the weakness? Okay, okay, he's, he's an ex-like marine dude who knows how the power armor works. Okay, okay, I, I get it. Um, but the, what is the weakness? Oh, there's the weld in the power armor. Oh, the, the, the welded armor in the obviously casted plate power armor. Yes. The, the weld, I see. The T60, if you look at it, is very much not, it doesn't have really welds. It's kind of just all cast armor. And then it's all slotted in place. There aren't really any welds there. 
So, I don't really know what he was talking about. Also, the area where he shot the dude, um, there's armor there underneath, so not quite sure how that bullet magically, you know, went through the armor, but hey, apparently it did. Details, right? It, it absolutely did. The show is pain. Yeah. It's... The show not only isn't very good, but it's reset everything that has to do with Fallout. The world is back to just being a dumb, silly world with raider gangs and no civilization and no hope for the future. And, uh, it, how can we go so far backwards? It's like, because the entire point of Fallout was the restructuring of civilization. And here's the thing. You've got all of America. Bethesda doesn't need to reset everything to zero. You could have the NCR do its thing, and you could simply go somewhere else and yeah. have your story set there. You want to do a story with the Brotherhood of Steel? Well, just do what Fallout Tactics did, and literally just have them get on a balloon and fly somewhere, and you can do whatever the hell you want. Yeah, have them go to the Midwest and fight tribes of centaur people who knows what's over in the midwest who knows where anything else in the united states besides the east and west coast we haven't really seen the rest of the country mostly just california and northeast that's it really there was there was no purpose in resetting all of this other than just blind militia's hatred i suppose yes it actually is that and that's what's the sad part for Bethesda has harbored a massive amount of resentment and envy. New Vegas is the black mark, along with Fallout 1 and 2, on their legacy. Anytime they try to make a game, they're constantly compared to it. And it seems like that has finally torn away at them. Their petty little ego has finally gave way, and now they're, they're doing their best to destroy the West Coast lore. They're going to take that from you, just like Arch said earlier, so that way you have nothing. And you'll have this, to like their new stuff now. This really does feel like just a big, fat, petty, just, oh, no, don't you didn't like that thing. We're going to destroy it now. Oh, it can't exist anymore. It really does feel fucking petty. It does. It's pain. Like, and somebody yeah, had a hate boner here. Uh, yeah, this this isn't Fallout. Okay, so the survivors of Shady Sands, right? Okay, so the survivors of a major NCR population center they 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 go to a vault and there's a vault nearby who's like okay we're gonna take you in and treat you because we were used like human experiments back in the day all right sure uh make you censor uh, how do they remember they're fallen oh they drink blood and smear themselves with ashes because you know the ncr was a hotbed of heathen crazies i guess <laughs> yeah <laughs> they worship the the lesbian queen you know, as, a, as a deified god, a goddess. They and you do. know what's weird is they worship her like a goddess, like some sort of weird cult. And they're trying to make it up that they're evil. And then it turns out that the weird cult and the worshiping of this feminist hero, it, they're actually good guys. And Lucy was evil for even thinking that the worship of this feminist god was, a, you know, in any way, you know, negative. That's unironically what they do in that story <laughs> I want to just mention one more time as well. In the first episode, when she leads the raiders into the vault and start brutally murdering people by the dozens, these innocent, tarted little yes. vault dwellers, yes. those oh. weren't raiders. Because we know now that she's the leader of the NCR. Those were NCR soldiers, supposedly. Raping, murdering vault dwellers without a care in the world. No different than your average raider. And as it turns out, they were led by the leader of the NCR herself. So it's like, yes. but the, she's a good guy. And so... This is weird because the writing is so fucking awful in the show. And it's it's actually pain. So she's supposedly a good guy who's just like massacred these people, has a weird, crazy cult that follows her. And you're supposed to be like, and Lucy's like, oh, I believe you. When she says, your dad was evil and he knew Shady Sands. And I'm a good person. I just want to help people and give them power. I just, you know, let murder and rape happen because I, ha I felt vindicated. 
<laughs> That's it's, the story. It's weird. It's just, it doesn't make any storytelling sense. It's not even uh, a Fallout story. That's the worst one. And it's just the undermining of everything now. Everything doesn't matter. Everything has been destroyed. Everything has been reduced. And isn't the thing too? They see they're clearly desperate to make it so that Fallout is viewed as grim, gritty, and they have lots of brutal, horrible stuff, almost all of which is utterly pointless and has no bearing on anything. There, there's a scene where I, <laughs> I can feel the YouTube TOS breathing down my neck, where there's a woman giving birth oh, to God. monster lizards who, out of her funny hole, who then turn and eat her alive. It's like, they're... Uh, there, I, there's a, there's yes. a dividing line between a brutal world and just, hey, I got this fetish. Let me tell you about it. Yep, because Arch and I played, we both played Fallout 1, 2, we played Tactics, we played New Vegas, we even played the 3 and 4 Bethesda ones. And of all the grotesque things I've seen in those games, this show takes the cake. Not only that, there's so many scenes in this show that are just like, needless, like the giving birth scene where the, the evil blonde girl fucking like squirts stuff from her funny hole because she's about <sighs> to give birth and they show yes. that. And it's just like, why? Or she's like stuffing ice in her crotch and she's like, and they, they demasculate the men in these scenes too, or emasculate them. Like, did you notice that? How the, her quote unquote husband or abused spouse is like subservient now? Of course he is. Like, it's just, it's, it's just current year writing and it's disgusting. And the worst part is this show reminds me of He-Man. It's like that, that twist, you know, where it's like, it's the bait and switch. Cause that's what the show is. It tricks you in with all the memorabilia and it's got sets that are very accurate to the setting. Like the, the vault set looks amazing. A lot of the props look like they're from straight from the game. And you're, you're very easy. Like, wow, there's a lot of music and cues they use and references to the game. And it tricks a lot of people very quickly. But the problem with that insidious nature is that it, it doesn't take long for it to reveal itself. By episode two or three, we were already starting to tune out. Like it got you know bad. You know what I feel quick. like? You know that scene where the ghoul is dragging Lucy through the wasteland and trying to make sure that she drinks the irradiated water to teach her a lesson about how shitty life is? Yeah. I feel like that. I feel like Lucy, after drinking the piss water and then looking up into Bethesda's skull-like, deathless, grinning, soulless face, and you're like, why did you make me do this? <laughs> why did I have to taste this crap <laughs> that was the tv show and all the bethesda can really say is because i could <laughs> because i could and i will again <laughs> i have the power to ruin things for you and i intend to this is only the beginning <laughs> Just wait till you see Fallout 5. It'll oh, be wow. worse. Allow me to reassure you as well. If anybody out there thought that Fallout 76 was as bad as it could get, mmm, got news no. for you. No. <laughs> 70, like, I'd ra dude, I would rather be playing Fallout 76 than doing anything with this TV show. It is that bad. It is something I never want to see again. And the acting. God, okay, so. It's bad. Chick who plays Lucy. <laughs> Does a does a reasonable job. Um, she can emote. Uh, she does very often have her fish out of water face, where she just stares astoundedly at something because the uh, the the creator is like, "This is supposed to surprise you," and she's like, "Oh, okay." She, she does okay. Um, the dude from the shield does pretty well because he's actually a great actor. And oh god, I hate that he roped him into this. Um, pretty much. Everyone else either doesn't have enough screen time to be worth it, or is like Maximus, who has one expression throughout this entire show, which is just 
brain dead befuddlement. Yes, comedic black character. Oh my god. Hello, Finn from Star Wars. That yes. is Maximus. Yes, discount <laughs> Finn. Discount, discount Finn. Finn. <laughs> Discount Finn, who is only in this problem because he decided to do a vegan lie at one point. Where he's like, okay, so my b boss dudes, my, my knight, he was killed by a goddamn Yao Guai. I, I, what, what, do you, what do you want me to do? Like, can I come home now? Can I, can I get a new knight? Like, I know where the head is. I, I can help you. No, instead he goes, I'm going to put his power armor. I'm going to lie about this, and I'm going to uh, take my, destroy my radio. <laughs> yes, he uh, does the gonna, most insensical bullshit I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm just going to double down on this lie until finally, for no reason, I'm just going to go, hey, hey, my new squire dude. Hey, I, y y you know how we, you know, you hate me and you bullied me and I've treated you like shit now for like several days? Well... I, I lied about that whole thing. I, I killed the knight. Could you, like, forgive me? Like, no. No. Like, and then ah. he then he runs away and betrays him. Why? He's not betraying him. This Maximus guy who's been playing as Titus has been treating this guy like shit for a long time. And he reveals this basically right after the guy, when he's talking to him, he's like, yeah, I bullied this guy named Maximus, and I like I did it because people did it to me, and I felt bad about it, and I, I honestly regret doing that. And I, I was hoping that he wouldn't have died on this mission. And he's like, oh, I'm going to reveal because now I realize that he actually cares. And so when he reveals the truth to him, right after treating him like absolute trash for like the last like several days, it's no surprise. He's like, oh, my God, Maximus is going to kill me. <laughs> and then Maximus does try to kill he him. He does. He actually does. He's like, uh, I, oh, you're not going to keep this true. I knew I should, it was a bad idea to. To, to tell you the truth. And what does Maximus do in his power armor? He reaches for him to kill him. He swings with his armored fist. Augmented, that punch will kill him. They have shown it before. He steps on his leg to try to crush it and ends up only crushing his toes and his foot. And then he's able to pull the, the core out so that he's stuck. But still, that whole scene only proves to us that Maximus is a murderer or he is definitely out to murder him and so i can't feel bad for maximus in this case because he's just tried to kill this guy maximus <laughs> has like no character character of strength at all he exists to be i don't even know I... like every scene he's in he's the comedic scenery he's comedic black guy relief is what he is he's not important to the story they tr the the writers treat his character like shit and he exists to be laughed at he exists to be funny in the moment where lucy's like being dragged off by the cult and he's like do i save her or do i keep eating popcorn and watching tv popcorn. and it's just like what the there's fuck? there's even a just to, just to hammer home the point finally as well that maximus is just the Biggest weakling cocky imaginable. Lucy goes like, "Hey, wanna have sex?" And he goes like, "No, nah, I that's, that's that's dangerous." Yep. <laughs> Go. He's celibate, by the way. The Brotherhood of Steel are just like Catholic night monks. They don't know what the Brotherhood of Steel is about. They don't even know their mission or objective. Like the writers have no idea. They're like, uh, racist white Christians. Like that's what they treat. <laughs> <sighs> bigots <laughs> like that, that's the writers of this show and they're bad like they're, it's just oh the brother of steel was pain i right off the bat arch was even saying that he hated it and like at first i'm like we'll just give it a minute and we did and it just got worse and worse and worse the brother of steel sections of the show are just probably the lowest point of the entire show yes like the I, I, okay, so positive spot of spin. I sort of I sort of enjoyed the mystery of the three volts. The three volts were interconnected. Okay, that's rare. That's weird. Um, and a couple of people in the vault are going on expeditions going, like, hey, what, what, what the hell is happening? And that functions just as a mystery where you're like, oh, I wonder what kind of sicko, creepo experiments they had here. And that wonderment is enough to keep me interested. Even though I'm sitting there, I'm thinking like, okay, they're going to reveal the secret. 
It's going to be a shit secret. And it's going to destroy all of this. And guess what? In the end, yes, it's a shit secret. And it does undermine everything. Yep. It actually did. The, the only thing we were holding out for towards the end of the episode, of the show was the mystery bubble about Vault 31. And then right as we're about to get it, Arch and I are like, this, when, we, when we see this, it's going to probably be bad, isn't it? And then we, we see it, and it's the worst part because it fundamentally ruined Fallout entirely as a setting. <laughs> Just destroyed it. And the worst part of this is, Bethesda has now come out and said that this show is considered canon and is now going to be how they're going to operate the setting off of from now on. Nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> and it makes sense because they've, they've done a full Kathleen Kennedy. They've taken the thing that people like and they, they could never quite own it. People are always like, hey, but what about Fallen 1? What about Fallen 2? What about New Vegas? And now they're just like, okay, you like those things? All right. We're just going to kill all of them. We're just going to rain a little next. Now what? We're, we're going to move the timeline forward. You were tired of us not really you know, pushing the timeline in a direction you like? Well, guess what? We moved it a few years forward, and we killed everything you like. Now we're everything we're going to build everything. on is husk. <laughs> it, it is literally just like they take their ball, and they look at you. They spit at you, and they walk away. I know. What are you gonna do now, huh? We do destroyed now? everything you liked. You can't what play anymore. What are you gonna anymore? do about it? You fall out one and two, New Vegas. Not. Don't worry. They're still canon. That's the best part. That's their argument now, right now. They're still canon, but nothing mattered. Nothing <laughs> mattered. Nothing mattered. Those stories are completely pointless, by the way. There is no reason to play Fallout 1 and 2 in New Vegas based on what Bethesda's trying to do. I still think that 1 and 2 in New Vegas are the only things that fucking matter. <laughs> oh, God. This show is pain. At first, when we were watching it, I was like, this isn't going to be as bad as Halo. No way. First episode, eh, it was not great, but it wasn't terrible. And it just got worse as time went on. So much so that I think because it's considered canon, I think this show is worse than Halo because of that. It's actually canon, and that's what hurts the most. An absolute, unrepentant, unremitting, unhesitating rape of Fallout, and intended to be so as well. Terrible. Terrible show to be avoided at all costs. Amen.